Trigonometry in 3D can look really scary, but if we just break it down into 2D problems, there's nothing new to learn. Always look for right angle triangles inside the 3D shape, so where a horizontal plane meets a vertical line, and then we can just use Pythagoras and Sokotoa. So let's have a look at an example. Start by drawing your 2D right angle triangle, CAG. We know it's a right angle because CG is a vertical line and CA is a horizontal plane. Before we can find angle X, we need to find the length of AC. To find the length of AC, we need to go back to our first diagram and draw on the line AC. We can easily find the length of AC using Pythagoras on this triangle. It's better to keep Y as root 164 because this is the most accurate answer. You need to be careful to not round any values too early on in these questions. So now that we know the length of AC, we can go back to the actual question. And we're now able to find the size of angle X using Sokotoa. 25.1 degrees. So we just need to take these questions step by step, always looking for those right angle triangles. Let's have a look at a square base pyramid. As always, start by looking for right angle triangles. Right angles are only found between vertical and horizontal lines. So we need to drop a vertical from T down to the centre of the horizontal base. Now we have a right angle triangle with a base of 4 because it's half the length of AB and a height of 10. We have a right angle triangle so we can use Sokotoa to find angle X. Pause the video, find angle X and click play when you're ready. Did you get 68.2 degrees? But what if the question had asked for angle ACT? What right angle triangle would you have used? See if you can find ACT. Pause the video, give it a go and click play when you're ready. Did you get 60.5 degrees? Did you use this right angle triangle? Here are some questions for you to do. Pause the video, answer them and click play when you're ready. Did you get them right? So that is all you need to know for 3D trigonometry. Just hunt down those right angle triangles. Always look for a vertical and a horizontal. And then they're usually two step problems. First Pythagoras and then Sokotoa. 3D trigonometry does actually have lots of real life applications. If you're ever trying to work out distance in three dimensions, like an architect designing a house or a pilot in a plane, chances are 3D trigonometry is involved. If you have any questions or want further help, comment below. Please like and share our videos with friends. Help us to keep growing.